Welcome to Lakeshore. I'll be walking you through your Cougar today. On your very front, you're gonna see some docking lights here. These are controlled by two toggle switches right to the right of this, this compartment. This compartment here holds your spare tire as well as a 12 volt battery. Right to the right, you're also gonna have a little light here. This has a manual light switch. Right to, on the driver's side, you're gonna have one of your uh, two 30 pound LP tanks. Regulator's gonna be right above it. <clears throat> There's gonna be a little black knob on top. You're gonna have to manually change it when one tank empties. Big pass-through area, power cord, adapters, as well as a spray nozzle. Leveling system here. So on and off, it'll be top right corner. So the LED lights, that means you're gonna retract jack. When it's not lit, it means extend. Now you just choose what jack you wanna control. Auto level, it's pretty self-explanatory. It's gonna level out the unit. Just make sure your truck's out of the way. Powered powder off. Right to the right here, you're gonna have inlet area. You're gonna have inlet for your water. Very top's gonna be for winterizing. Winterizing. You gotta have this valve on. Right above it, you're gonna see a water heater bypass valve. City water connection here. If you just wanna use uh, water and water pressure off the water hose, black tank flush before you hook a water hose up here. Make, make sure both of these valves are out and uh, connected to the ground. Right to the right here, you're gonna have an inlet for your satellite and cable, battery disconnect. Water heater here. Coming to the back side, uh, on the driver's side, you're gonna have your 50 amp hookup as well as your fresh water connection. And then you're gonna have an outdoor shower in the rear of your unit. Coming to the passenger rear, you're gonna have outside uh, stove as well as the fridge. Just know this fridge ain't gonna work unless you're to shore power. Here you're gonna have your furnace exhaust. When you start your furnace, just make sure there's nothing leaning up against it. Um, it gets extremely hot. Main door here. Other side of the pass-through. Your other 30 pound LP tank there. Go ahead and go inside your unit. Inside your unit, right up at the steps here, you're gonna have one control uh, in, com in command center. You're gonna just push power button on to wake it up. Now you'll be able to control water pump, water heater, and interior lights without even putting in a password. You can check your levels up top. Password's gonna be four zeros until you go into settings and change it if you decide to. HVAC as well as uh, heat is gonna be in that one. Lights, slide and awnings, and settings. Start from the master bedroom and work our way back. Master bedroom, um, you have your main light switch right to the left as well as when you're operating this bed slide here make sure all those cabinets are closed otherwise you're gonna have a disaster that you probably don't want to have um you got charging stations at each side of the bed usb ports as well as an outlet master bedroom or master bath or main bath you're gonna have um pretty self-explanatory how to use the restroom you're gonna have gfi breaker right to the right as well as a light switch um coming down into the main living area You're gonna have, um, on your slide, you're gonna have a main light switch here to control the slide lights. TV, radio, and fireplace, entertainment center. Um, your radio is gonna run off 12 volt. TV and fireplace are gonna only work on when you're hooked to shore power. You do have another light switch right to the right of the TV. If you decide you don't wanna go to the main panel, you can just hit this and that's gonna turn off all the main lights at nighttime. Fridge. So your microwave up above, best indicator of your hooked shore power will be on and working. Right now we're just only running a 12 volt feed. Uh, right below you're going to find your stove, your stove top. Just turn your knob over to flame. Use your igniter knob on the left to light that. Um, sink, your keys are around your sink. Manuals and everything you need to know about your camper is going to be inside this drawer here. As well as breakers and fu fuses are going to be in this panel. That is a carbon monoxide alarm. I hope this video helped. Thank you for choosing Lakeshore. Have a great day.